Why conditions? A decision is when a program has more than one choice of action, depending on a variable value. Think of a traffic light when it is green, we continue our drive. When we see the light turn yellow, we reduce our speed, and when it is red, we stop this. These are logical decisions that depend on the value of the traffic light. Lambda like Python has a decision statement to help us when our application needs to make such a decision for the user. Let's see this example. This fluid diagram explains what we mean by a decision. This is our condition here. If this condition is true, we will move here to execute a code and we will continue to the end of our code. And if this condition is false, we will execute something else and we will go on to the end of our code and so on. Let's see this example. Here I type x equal to 5, then I said f x equal to 5, print x equal 5. Here, remember, in condition we use double sign, not only one sign, so that we ask for that if, there is, if this value equal to 5 or not. This is the keyword which tells the Python that we make or making a condition here. It will check if this x equal to 5 or not. If this x equal to 5, it will print this here and if not, will print nothing here. Let's try this in our shell. Here I'll type x equal to 5, then I'll set f x equal to 5 print x let's run our code 5 the value of x ok in the next video I'll show you how we can treat f this example here I said Name equal to Mahmoud and age equal to 21. If we will make a condition to check that name equal to Mahmoud and age equal to 21. And we will make another condition here. Here. To check that name equal to Mahmoud or name equal to Ahmed. And we will see those two examples. Here I said if name equal to Mahmoud and age equal to 21, Brent, your name is Mahmoud and your age are also 21 years old. Here the end operators, the end operators must check that the first condition and, and the second condition are true. The two conditions must be true. Let's try this in our Bison shell. If I said here name equal to Mahmoud is equal to 21. First, if name equal to Mahmoud and H equal to 21, print 2 conditions. Let's run this invalid syntax. We forget one sign here. We will see two conditions executed so that this condition name equal to Mahmoud and this age equal to 21 must be true. Okay, if I said here old and I said remove this to 22, if I run. The two conditions executed. This, this print, print sentence has been executed here because or check only for one condition. One condition must be true, not the two conditions. And this example here, this here name equal to Mahmoud, age equal to 21, must be true. But here, if name equal to Mahmoud or name equal to Ahmed, or here will check only for one 
condition. If this condition are true, it, this will print this. And if this condition are true, this will print this. But here, this must be true and this must be true. Okay? Why use else? Else gives you another option. Another one option. Let's see this flow chart. Here, there is our condition. If this condition is true, the F code will be executed, then we will move down here. And this, if this condition is false, the else code will be executed. Then it will move down the end of the code. Let's see this example. Here, the x equal to 500. I said if x is bigger than 600, we will print x is bigger than else we will print x is smaller than here x is smaller than then it will print this statement here x is smaller than 600 here let's try this in our Bison shell x equal to 500 if x bigger than 600 I'll print x is bigger than else I'll print x is smaller than 600 ok if we run we will see that x is smaller than 600 because x equal 500 but if I change this to this let's run we will see x is bigger than 600 because it's x bigger than okay and then let's see at this photo here what's explain if and if it's lf in the tail here we will type f and we will give it a condition here if this condition is true this code here will be executed and if we will write another condition here and if this other condition is true this code here will be executed then the default one is else if this is false and this is false the else will be executed and so on okay let's see an example Remember, else and lf gives you the default option. Okay. This example here, I set x equal to 100. Then I make f and lf conditions. I said if x equal to 200, we will print this. And if x equal to this, we will print this. And this, if lf x equal to this value, we will print this. And if x does not this is false and this is false and this is false we will print this and when we exit the whole loop we will print code power let's try this in our base one shell hit our base one shell here if I said x of 100 let's make condition f x equal to print here I'll type lf lf takes another condition here Let's type another if and we'll type else here which will print the value of x. Let's see. If, let's run valid syntax. We forget a sign here. So we can see prints 100 because this condition here are false this condition here 
are false this condition here are false because x equal to 100 and this will print x down but if i remove this and this will be 100 we will see it prints 1000 because this condition is true and so on okay remember if this condition are false and this are false and this condition if those conditions are false the three conditions is this will print the else code but if any one of those conditions true this will print any sentence of this sentence okay this true this will print this if this true this will print this if this true this will print this but if those three conditions are false this will print the else code Okay.